going to do impressions. Oh, celebrity impressions. That's, that's wild. <laughs> wild stuff. <laughs> yep. Um, this is an impression of my sister. Hi, I'm Natalie. I love Ritalin and have low self-esteem. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good day, gang. My name is Jackson for Lunch for Louie, and you are watching Between Bread. Let's make an Aubrey Plaza. Aubrey Plaza was born in Wilmington, Delaware. Now, I couldn't get my hands on any blue crabs, so instead, we're starting off by making some peach pie filling. I'm only going to make a small amount for the purposes of this sandwich. If you did want to make a whole pie, I'll include the quantities you'll need in the description below. Grab yourself three peaches, pip them, slice them and into a bowl. To this we will add two and a half tablespoons of brown sugar, two and a quarter tablespoons of white sugar, the zest of about a quarter of a lemon and some of its juice, and a dash of vanilla extract or vanilla paste. Gently mix this to combine and then leave on the countertop or in the fridge for anywhere between half hour up to an hour. After that time it should have let go of its juices Strain them into a pan and set off to the side. Pop your peaches back into the bowl and to this we're going to add a pinch of cinnamon, a pinch of corn flour and another small amount of vanilla paste. Mix that all through and again set off to the side. Bringing back our peach liquid and popping onto low heat. Once that comes up to a simmer we'll turn off our heat and add a tablespoon of all purpose flour. Mixing this until it forms a paste and then adding back in our peaches. Mixing our paste and peaches until the peaches have good paste coverage. And then this is off to a 220 degree Celsius or 430 Fahrenheit oven for 15 minutes before reducing to 180 degrees Celsius or 360 Fahrenheit for a further 30 minutes. One of Aubrey Plaza's favorite foods is cinnamon crunch toast, which is a cereal that I could not get. But the words cinnamon and toast are a good enough reason to make French toast. So cut yourself two slices of thick white bread. Then to our drenching vessel we'll add one cup of milk and two eggs, beating and mixing until well combined. Then we'll add one teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, and a quarter teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg, or half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Mix well to combine and then we'll pop a pan with some butter over very low heat. Once that's up to heat we can add our bread 10 seconds each side and then on to the very low pan. Now I said very low because this is going to spend 7 minutes on either side. In doing this we end up with a great crust on the outside of the bread but we also cook the egg mixture on the inside so you're not just making wet egg bread. With that done, and if you've timed this to perfection, we can take our peaches out of the oven and they are looking great, and it is time for assembly. I couldn't find my frisbee, so I had to settle for a plate. Popping down our first slice of French toast, topping with some of our peach pie filling, our second slice of French toast, more peach pie filling, a scoop of vanilla ice cream, a dust of powdered sugar, and topped with a couple of Aubrey Plaza's favorites, that is Cocoa Puffs and Nerds. And there you have it, the Aubrey Plaza. It looks very good, it looks very sweet, but how does it taste? All right, here it is again, my head. The Aubrey Plaza, three firsts here, first sweet, between bread, the first bowl, and what's the other first? Uh, use of a bowl. Ah, first time using cutlery on the series, so I could pick it up. Oh, I'll tell you what I will do. I'll put your ice cream in it. Oh man. Wow. Oh my god. That pie filling. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Because it's cooked so slow, 
I mean, that has 14 minutes on there. So all the egg that's, all the liquid that's in there gets cooked. And it kind of restores the, the fluffiness of the bread. But then you get a great crust on the outside. Really adding to it is the crunch of the, the cocoa puffs. The nerds, I mean, that's just kind of stupid, but wow, that's good. I don't eat a huge amount of sweets. So this is oh, it's gonna make me cry. One of my pet peeves is I, I, I think people see that in a recipe and they think, oh, that means a shitload of cinnamon. I'm just gonna add the world's cinnamon. You know, I've had cinnamon scrolls that taste like you're doing the cinnamon challenge. That both the, this French toast recipe and the recipe for the, the pie filling, I think have really good amounts of cinnamon because it's something that I am, I am picky on. I'm not picky with a huge amount of stuff with food, but, but over cinnamon, over cinnamoning, over cinnamoning things, adding too much cinnamon is one of them. Oh, where does it place? For the Aubrey Plaza. Very good. Super sweet. Mmm. Make that French toast and, and put that filling in a pie. Yeah. Goodbye.